Hey guys, I am Orlando and you are watching Sin City Cycling and today is just going to be a brief video. I just kind of wanted to touch base and let you guys know what's going on. Uh, about a week ago we were out uh, testing uh, the AliExpress mountain bike and uh, I believe I probably bit off more than I can chew as far as riding things that were a little bit more advanced than I was probably prepared for. Now, you know, I've been a road bike rider for quite some time now, and I believe that my skills are pretty up to par with, uh, you know, how I ride. I, you know, I'm pretty good at doing that. Um, I mistakenly assume that those skills would completely transfer over to mountain biking, which, as we're going to see here shortly, they did not. Uh, anyway, we went out to a place called Bootleg Canyon, uh, which is close here to Lake Mead. And uh, we were coming down the mountain and uh, I was unable to move out of the way of a rock. And uh, I, I hit the rock head on and went over the bars. Uh, the bike flipped over and broke the rear seat stays. So the AliExpress mountain bike is done. Um, I have started looking for another frame to transfer the parts to. I haven't quite decided what we're gonna do yet. Uh, but it's looking like I'll probably buy another frame from BXT. Uh, I spoke to a person over there at their company and uh, they are willing to give me uh, a discount on the new frame, which I guess is better than nothing, you know, considering it was broken by uh, rider error and not uh, some, some part of it failing. Uh, so without further ado, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the bike first and then I'll go ahead and show you the video of the accident. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, here's our mountain bike, and I brought a light with, so I wasn't sure if we'd be able to see the actual brake here. But you can see where it hit the rocks and cracked the frame in half. So, you know, that's it's literally broken in half. And then uh, up here, this one's a little harder to see, you know, get it to focus. Uh, but you can see that if there's another complete crack uh, that goes through the whole frame here. You can see it wraps around the whole other side. And I haven't really looked underneath, but it does look like it goes all the way underneath as well. Why uh, This one is completely broken through the frame. So we did take some more damage to the paint here. And uh, I wasn't really going that fast, maybe about 12 miles an hour, 13 tops. And uh, what had happened when I hit the rocks, the bike flipped over onto its side and landed on another outcropping of rocks and uh, it landed perfectly to the point to where it, it busted this this piece completely out um, you know I'm a little bit upset it's not like this bike is going to be thrown away uh, it will probably take a place on my wall and be a talking piece uh, you know considering the awesome paint job that Nick did put down on it uh, there's no way I would just throw it away and uh, you know they, they did, did offer to uh, uh, give me a bigger discount by sending in the frame, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. I, I, I just want, I'm, I'm going to keep it because of the paint. So uh, anyway, that's what happened. Uh, without further ado, why don't we go ahead and take a quick look at that video and you guys can see how shitty of a mountain bike rider I am. Thanks, man. The three are slow. <laughs> well, for a road cyclist, this is pretty serious. Man, you see how fast they went across these rocks? What? You see how fast they went across there?
full suspension bike made it look easy. That didn't look good. I hit that. How'd you hit that? Yeah, as long as my GoPro is still running. Oh man, this fucked up the thing really bad, dude. How many people don't paint mountain bikes? Yeah. Yeah. That's even into the carbon. Oh, my bike's broke, bro. Oh shit. So riding down the hill, uh, I hit a big uh, rock and went over the bars, and uh, you can see where the rocks hit the frame, and uh, that's going to be it for this one. So for those of you who thought I'd break this frame, well, you were right. Okay, so as you guys saw in the video, uh, I hit that rock, flipped over the bars, it did it in the mountain bike. Um, I will be uh, hopefully really recent, or hopefully really soon in the near future, be swapping the parts over to another frame. Uh, but the issue I'm concerned about right now is uh, the, the port clog up in uh, California right now. Uh, if you guys have seen the news, you know that there's a bunch of container ships that are, uh, I believe last count was over 70, uh, waiting to be unloaded and have the freight taken away. And uh, that's actually where the bars that I bought for the uh, mountain bike are still at. They're still at the port. Uh, so I never did get the new bars that I was going to put onto the bike, but now the bike is dead. Uh, anyway, that is going to be the only thing that holds us back. Uh, I did talk to the seller. They told me that I could get it around December. Uh, I have opted for air shipping, so I'm hoping that that will bypass the port and get it on land here sooner than we would have if we would have shipped it regular ground, I guess you would call it. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping to have this thing built up by Christmas time so we can still test some of it. Uh, before it gets too hot because you know once summer hits here in Vegas uh, it's uh, deadly and uh, you don't want to be really far into the desert like we were. We did have to walk back from uh, where I broke the bike to where the car was so that was pretty bogus. But anyway we want to go ahead and avoid that situation but uh, like I said this is just going to be a brief video. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys what was going on with our bike. Anyway as always I am Orlando. You have been watching Sin City Cycling. Peace.